Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can install and use the Visual Studio Code for scripting in AutoHotKey so you can have a more classic user experience when coding in this language. If you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. Okay, so Visual Studio Code is an editor which is often used by programmers who code in more mainstream languages like Python or C++, but it also has an extension that allows for AutoHotKey on the platform. So to download this editor, just simply visit this website, and I'm going to place a link in the video description down below. And once you finish downloading this program, just simply install it. Accept the agreement, go to next, 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 and then select whatever options you want to select. So I'm going to tick a few boxes here. Then hit next to finish the installation. Wait for the installation to finish. And once the installation has finished, you can click the finish button and it will launch Visual Studio Code. So this is the interface of Visual Studio Code. And if you say, for example, create a AutoHockey script like this message box that says hi and go to where the script is saved, which is here. If you click there, you get the message box, right? Let us try and open this up in Visual Studio Code. Now, if I open up the script, notice how there's going to be no color coding applied to it. And that's because you don't have the AutoHotKey language support extension installed. And if I tried debugging this, I'm going to get an error message like this. And it says plain text. It doesn't even recognize that it's AutoHotKey. So what we need to do is to go back out to our web browser and go to this URL. I'm going to put the URL in my description of the video as well and hit this install button and then hit continue open Visual Studio Code. And then if you hit this install button in this page, then it's going to install the AutoHotKey extension. If I go back to the script and run the debugging, this time I'm going to get AutoHotKey reference instead of plain text. And if I click OK, then I'm going to be taken to this page where I can install any of these two. I'm just going to install the first one. And this is the debugging plugin. Now, once it finishes installing, you can go to the debugging section where you can click this play button to get the result of the script. Or you can also press F5 to run this. So let me go ahead and test this out by uh, writing a few lines of codes and then display the output in a message box. You can click run and go start debugging or you can also press F5 which will take you to this page where you can click this play button or F5 to get the message that you want. So I saw the right result just now. So this is all good. Let me just do a quick test of a script that I have written out, which I've demonstrated in a previous video. And this video pretty much does a URL download and passes the HTML code that's downloaded to display um, a bunch of data, a bunch of text in a message box. So let me go ahead and run it. And I get my first message box that represents this one. And then the second one that represents a lot of strings of text that represents the uh, news headline in Sydney Morning Herald news website. I have to admit that I haven't played around with this so much. So I don't know how good and reliable Visual Studio Code is for AutoHotKey scripting. But I'll keep using this going forward to test it out and also record future videos using Visual Studio Code unless I find issues with it. This is it for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.